Hi guys, welcome back to Fan Cams. We've got Dave uh, on the line. Dave, you just said to me before we started recording, you were dying with that. I mean, God, what a result, but God, it, it didn't feel like it was going to come, did it? It's killed me. It's, it's absolutely killed me. How have we dominated so much and not scored? I, I, I just don't understand that we've done that. Yeah. You know, I, I, I said to you at half, you said to me at half time, so much possession, can't see a scoring, and I can't see a scoring, and we've we've grabbed that in the ninety fourth minute. It's just like where where's that come, where where has that come from? Yeah, I mean it was it was sort of balancing out to be another Leeds, wasn't it? I mean, I think difference why in this one ninety minutes we looked we, Nottingham Forest were there for the attacking. They were all, they were almost asking us to score against them, and we just again clinical enough. What we weren't clinical enough, were we? It was the same old game. It was it was the last forty five of Leeds mm. was the same ninety against Forest today, mm. and we we just didn't look like scoring. And I, I just still don't believe we haven't actually scored that. No. But it's what we, it's what we do in it. It's what we do. We do do that. But I tell you what, mate, we did we we hundred percent deserved it though, and all didn't we? I mean, if we'd have been coming away from this now, we'd have been we we well we'd have been talking about as life ready for League One. I mean, it's still not over yet. We've still got to go to Brentford, but it, throughout that ninety, I mean, it was such a apart from it's the, it's the final third again decision making that's that could have cost us. Uh, and luckily, Patrick Schmidt, who's with his third goal, <laughs> little tap in. I mean, there when we needed run it. I mean, God, I, he I did it again. He did it against Millwall. He did it again today, and it's just it's just those important goals, and they could be they, they could be crucial at the end of the season. Yeah, they could be crucial. You know, we, we, we've we've dominated again throughout the game. It's just been one way traffic. I mean, Forest never looked like scoring, did they? No, they look, they they came for a point. They need the point to guarantee playoff position today, mm. and um, we've we've gone. Um, don't, we've done what we had to do. Mm. We've done what we had to do, and we left it late to do it. <laughs> but we've, we've, we've done it and it's, oh, it's, it's, it's literally taking it all out of me today. Uh, it it yeah. honestly has me, mate. I mean, I, I, lo I love a late goal, but Jesus, I'd rather us wrap that up when, when we have chances. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, we, do, we, we don't do that, do we? We never make it easy. No. We've no. always got to go the difficult route. <laughs> We're always the difficult route, mate. I mean, does this give you any confidence? Well, it should do on going to Brentford. I mean, I said to Luke in his interview, we've only lost one game. Since lockdown, so on that basis, you know, as a team, we're actually doing okay. It's just the the, the strikers and the the decision making in that area, and and it, and in every game, maybe Barstoke will put four past us. We have been hammered. We've not looked like losing. So I think I think we've we've got as much chance as Brentford have to win this one. It's gonna be a. Uh, so I'm just gonna inside so someone's cutting his grass. Um, it's going to be a case of, of who's got the most bottle on the day, I think. Mm. You know, we've got everything to play for, staying up. They've got everything to play for, going up. Mm. It's just going to be who takes the the chances on the day and, and, and who, you know, who's more confident. You know, it's it's going to be a lot of nerves Wednesday, a lot of nerves. There were, there were loads today, mate, honestly, towards the last five minutes there. I mean, I were questioning Struber's substitutes again. Why we didn't have Alm on earlier? That all this and that. I'm sure you were. Yeah, when when Alm came on, I was like, well, it's 86 minutes. It's a little bit too late. I'd have put him on about 70 minutes and put him mm. in front. You know, we were never lightweight at the back today. We the defence played absolutely brilliant today, mm. and Anderson had a brilliant game. He was absolutely superb. And it was just one way traffic and. When you've got the one-way traffic, you just need the end product, and we didn't have the end product, mm. and that's why we would have put Harmer on about seventy minutes. You know, twenty minutes to go, a few more chances. We, we, there was just so much. I, I, it was really frustrating again, yeah. again. It was really frustrating, but <laughs> I'm just happy we got the got the got the result at the end. It was just brilliant. It, it really was. Honestly, magical, mate. It's what football's all about. And you could see passion with players as well. Struber running on at end, how much it meant. And when that ball came in, it was Woodrow. And I, and I shouted at Telly, like, Woodrow, why are you there? You need to be in box. But he put that in and then it dropped. And I was just waiting for but I was just waiting for ball to go into the back of net. I was like, it's going to go in this. I'm, I, know, I know it is. And it did. And when I saw everyone running on pitch, it showed how much it meant to them. 
Yeah, it was, you know, that, the reaction to the goal was absolutely brilliant. But Struber in the first half and, you know, for most of the second half, he was sat on the bench. He wasn't getting, you know, I, if I was the manager, I'd have been on the sidelines. I'd have been running, I'd have been playing every single shot, mm. like um, Flicky used to do. Yeah. You know, he was, he was out, he, he played every single ball. And Struber was just like, well, you know, I'll, I'll sit down, mm. you know. And But when, he, you know, when the, the goal did go in, it just showed what it meant to him and... Hey, yeah, I don't. Hmm. You know, we we we've earned an hour with Struber, haven't we? Yeah, you well, said, we we went out before game, didn't we, with the team selection? Because as as much as we won today, that still wouldn't have been my team. I don't think. No, you, I, I'm not going to slate Jordan Williams. Cause mm. I think Jordan Williams is a great player, but he's not a left sided player, mm. and you need to utilize your your proper players in the proper position. And if you put him. In the starting eleven, I, 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 obviously someone's going to be on the scenes in there with with Odo, mm. and he's, that's why he's not getting started. But if you put him on from the start, then I think it's a lot more it's a lot more threat down the left, mm. and um, we could have got a few more goals today. And yeah, and it was, it, there was a lot more urgency. But where was this earlier in the season? Mm. Where was this? You know, after the international, after the whatever it was, what was it, the, the coronavirus break, should we call it? Yeah, the we'll call it that. We'll call it that. Yeah. There was no urgency. It was just, you know, the same old Barnsley. It was like, well, we'll see what we can get. And mm. we got a bit fortunate in the first few games, but obviously the Stoke game, the Luton game, the Wigan game. But half time against Leeds, we just turned it around and we just like we wanted it. We just, mm. The players seemed like they wanted it. Mm. And today, from, from the first minute, they seemed like they wanted it. And why can't we show this urgency all season? Yeah, you think if we'd have got a result against Luton now, you think another three points added on there, maybe a three points against Wigan, three points against Millwall. Because like I said, they were beatable on the day. When we've watched them games, they were more than beatable. And I don't think we've been hammered other than probably Stoke. And they didn't hammer us in terms of play or anything like that. The scoreline suggests it's an hammering, but it wasn't really for me, if, if you ask me. The, sc- the scored four, but they didn't hammer us on the pitch in terms of they didn't outplay us, I don't think. I think we were just awful that day, really, weren't we? That was that that was that was the game. That was mm. the game, I think the Stoke game. If we'd have got a result from that, whether it would be a, a point or three points, I think we'd have been we probably would have been safe by now. Yeah. That Stoke game we just it knocked us, we went into it. It. It, it. it it was just like what well, you, you you've had a couple of good results and you go against a team that's had a couple of bad results. Mm. And then, wow, four 0 It's like, oof. and it just—it's just got the confidence. Yeah. And uh, I think in the, um, the first half of the Luton game, it—it it, it certainly showed. Mm. You know, they obviously they, they, they knew what happened against against Stoke. And they were a bit wary, and the first half at Luton was well. It was another poor performance, and then mm. the second half they they improved. And um, but it, again, it, the Luton game, they put armour on. And they look, we look so much more different when he gets on. Mm. And I know he's not a striker, but if we're in trouble, we should bring him on and put him up front. See, it's mm. more dangerous than anybody else we've got in the team mm. to play. It's a big, it's a big presence, field. isn't it? That's why it is. It gives you somebody to knock ball up to. Yeah, yeah. We, we get we get the um, set pieces. Mm. And if, if you've got someone like Harmer on the field, then you've got someone to aim for. Big shout out for Mighty Wolf today. I think when he came on, he did absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and I again, so. He's another player that you can, you know, put him in the box, aim for him. Anything can happen. Yeah, I don't know why he's not. I don't know why he's not had a, a start before now. I, I really mm. don't. I've not seen a lot of him, but I think he's played really well today. Mm. Really well. When it when he came on, he looked very composed. Didn't he? No pressure on him. He looked very. It looked like he'd been playing. Like he'd been playing regularly. He, he did when he got ball. He was calm. He he distributed it well. He did panic. You know what I mean? Whereas we've got some other players in there, I'm not going to name them, who get ball and they don't seem to know what to do with it. Exactly. He, he, he used confidence today. You yeah. know, and um, he's, he's not only playing the team that's been up and down, is he? So maybe that's that, that, you know that's where it comes from. Mm. And you know, you 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 won't name players. I will. Brown's had another poor game for me. Mm. He's missed chances. He's been in and out of the game, and. It's it, it shows, and it, you know, Struber's shown a lot of balls today, putting mm. Woodrow on the bench, mm. you know. But like you said to me before the game, why Woodrow? Why not Brown? Yeah, well, yeah, Brown's been equally as bad, 
if not worse. <laughs> if you ask me, I think if you're going to drop, if you're going to drop one, you, you drop Brown, don't you? Really, I, I didn't understand Rich Meyer coming back into the team. That were that puzzled me. I, I couldn't understand. It didn't even come on at Leeds, and then you gets thrown yeah. straight back in. That chance he had to start the second half, I, oh, it was in fact had gone in. It probably it wouldn't have changed the game, but maybe it would have changed the game in a different sort of way. Mm. And um, I, I don't know. Um, He's he's not another good game as he's he at tomorrow. I, I don't know how he justifies his start. I, I mm. really don't. Yeah, he's had a few good touches today, but some of his crosses were really suspect. He just yeah, popped yeah. into the box. And Forrest have got a, a decent defence, and you, you can't play it in the air. You've got to mm. play it on the floor and you, you take your chances there. You, you, we've played too much ball in the air football, mm. and it, it doesn't work against teams like Forrest. You know, it's, it's not going to happen. No, big side, big side at the back, experienced defender Michael Dawson, who absolutely you know, really swept up everything really today. Um, but yeah, I, I can't, I'm still buzzing, mate. We live to fight another day, don't we? I mean, oh, can happen, can it? Top final day. Oh, it's you know, part of me <laughs> hopes that it would have ended today because today was massive, and I feel like I just feel absolutely destroyed. Yeah. I feel absolutely destroyed after watching that. And I, we've got to go again on Wednesday, haven't we? We've got I, to go again on Wednesday. I, I, I said to Luke, I said, honestly, I wish that were goal to keep us up. I really do, but we've got to go again. And oh, But it should be a big confidence booster, hopefully. Let's hope that they take that um, and carry on playing like they did. And listen, I think we've, we've more than a chance now. Full, uh, Brentford will be under pressure. So we'll see. We will see. Well, we've, we've, we've got confidence from this win. We've got confidence from the, the second half of the Leeds game. Brentford bottled it for me yesterday. Mm. Um, they yeah. they had the perfect chance to, you know, cement their place in the top two. They haven't taken it. Maybe nerves settling in. Maybe. So, in, if know. there is nerves, there's going to be nerves there on Wednesday as well. Yeah, there is, and so we've got to try and play on that. There's so much that can happen at the top and at the bottom on Wednesday. It's just going to be a, a free for all. I think. Mm. I, I, you've, you've got to go into the game with confidence. You've got to go into the game with confidence, mm. and um, the better team will come out on top. It might not be enough for us. We've got to rely on other teams, which I wouldn't. I'd rather not. But you never know. It's, it's Barnsley, isn't it? It's Barnsley. It's, ba- it's Barnsley. We, we'll see what happens. It, it won't be Barnsley if they weren't dragging. But I'm glad it's gone to the final day, and we'll see what happens. Cause uh, yeah, but like you said, yeah, I'm buzzing. I'm men- I'm drained mentally after that. I can't seem to pick myself up. But it just it just just before we go, but. Like it makes you think all them other games like we touched on earlier, if we'd have got a point there or three yeah. points there we were winnable, you know, it could have been all, all a bit different. We could have been out of it by now, but it is Barnsley like we touched on. So all right then what Dave, if? well it's it's all one ifs. One ifs. Yeah, it's it, it's it that's where it is. Um but it's never quiet at this club, so you know. Uh all right then Dave, well I'll speak to you in a week. I might get you on for a preview if you're free. Uh, yeah, last game at season and everything like that so alright then guys well thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one right Dave